EI introduced detailed assessment in 2011, which helped students improve their performance with its data-driven approach. EI also saw the need to nurture academically gifted students, and hence, Asset Talent Search and Asset Summer Program were introduced in 2015. Our high-quality research-driven work has extended to government schools, which has immensely improved the learning quality of students. Our large-scale education programs work with state governments, international partners, and CSR to transform education on a massive scale. In 19 years of operations, we have pioneered assessment for learning, adaptive learning, topic test with instant results, and gifted education in India. We are EI, the leaders in edtech space in India, and we're making sure that children everywhere are learning with understanding. Education becomes meaningful only when children learn with understanding. That is what we always strive to achieve. Back in 2001, when EI was founded, bringing measurability to learning was a pressing need that EI addressed with ASSET. After assessing millions of students across India and beyond, EI introduced MindSpark in 2007 to make learning adaptive and personalized. Later, to empower schools further, EI introduced detailed assessment in 2011, which helped students improve their performance with its data-driven approach. EI also saw the need to nurture academically gifted students, and hence, Asset Talent Search and Asset Summer Program were introduced in 2015. Our high-quality research-driven work has extended to government schools, which has immensely improved the learning quality of students. Our large-scale education programs work with state governments, international partners, and CSR to transform education on a massive scale. In 19 years of operations, we have pioneered assessment for learning, adaptive learning, topic test with instant results, and gifted education in India. We are EI the leaders in edtech space in India, and we're making sure that children everywhere are learning with understanding. Education becomes meaningful only when children learn with understanding. That is what we always strive to achieve. Back in 2001, when EI was founded, bringing measurability to learning was a pressing need that EI addressed with ASSET. After assessing millions of students across India and beyond, EI introduced MindSpark in 2007 to make learning adaptive and personalized. Later, to empower schools further, EI introduced detailed assessment in 2011, which helped students improve their performance with its data-driven approach. EI also saw the need to nurture academically gifted students, and hence, Asset Talent Search and Asset Summer Program were introduced in 2015. Our high-quality research-driven work has extended to government schools, which has immensely improved the learning quality of students. 
Our large-scale education programs work with state governments, international partners, and CSR to transform education on a massive scale. In 19 years of operations, we have pioneered assessment for learning, adaptive learning, topic test with instant results, and gifted education in India. We are EI, the leaders in EdTech space in India. And we're making sure that children everywhere are learning with understanding. Good morning, parents and students. We at Educational Initiatives are happy to have you join us for today's webinar. I hope you all are ready with your pen and paper. We are very excited. Today, we will be discussing patterns. We will begin in a few minutes. Uh, we are waiting for some more of your friends to join us and then we will start. I hope you all are excited. I hope you all are ready with your pen and paper. Don't forget, we have some interesting questions coming up very soon for all of you. Parents and students, while we're waiting for everyone to join us, let me remind you that we have the fastest finger first question coming up today. I hope you all are excited and we will be needing that pen and paper. Parents, please be part of the children's learning during all of this. And while we're waiting, let me take you forward and share with you all about this 20-year-old organization called Education Initiatives, which brings to you each week these wonderful and very, very educative webinars. Education Initiatives is a 20-year-old organization. It is excelling in the field of education. We use deep research in pedagogy, assessments, and personalized learning tools, empowered with artificial intelligence and machine learning to make learning easier and fun for you students. We work with uh, private and government schools, nonprofit organizations, not only in India, but across 19 countries in the world. More than 10 lakh students benefit from the various programs provided by us. We ensure that we use this real-time data that we gather to make learning easier and fun for you. Students, I can see many of you have already joined us. Can I see some thumbs up? Are we all ready? Parents, I hope you're part of the child's learning. Very important. Very well. Um, don't forget, a lot of questions for you to answer. And of course, the fastest finger first. So for today's webinar with me is Jaren Sir. Jaren Sir has been with Educational Initiatives for the past few years and has been working in the EdTech domain for many more years than that. Jaren Sir will be taking you all today through the concepts of patterns. Welcome Jaren Sir. I can see the students are all very excited and they are really looking forward to everything you have to teach them today. Thank you Amrita. I hope I'm audible. <clears throat> yes, Good sir. morning parents, good morning students. Thank you for joining us today. And today we are going to learn about patterns so what we are going to do here is like, we're going to learn about patterns and shapes. We're going to learn about patterns in numbers. We will learn how do we decode secret messages. And then of course we will practice questions using MindSpark, which is very important practicing questions. We have something very interesting coming up, fastest finger challenge, a contest for the students. There are very exciting prizes to be won. And we will understand how unique our MindSpark classes. And at the end, we will also take up the questions that you all have. <clears throat> to start with, let me introduce you all to my friends, Ananya and her brother, Yash. They both are very excited and they are going to make a Rangoli. So Ananya has a design with her. And seeing this design, Yash is 
little confused. How do we go about this design? Uh, Ananya laughs it off and says, ha, 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 this is going to be very easy. And this Rangoli is all about patterns. Listening to the word pattern, Yash is quite confused. You know, what is patterns? What are actually patterns? So let's start defining by pattern so that we help understand Yash what is actually patterns. So pattern is a set of shapes or designs that are repeated over and over again. So students, I want all of you to take notes. We will see this with an example, okay? So what are patterns? Patterns are basically a set of shapes or designs that are repeated over and over again. Now, you see this Rangoli, okay? So there is a shape. There are shapes, I will say, and they are getting repeated over and over again. Let's see that. So this Rangoli, so what I will do is like, I'm going to draw this Rangoli for all of you, okay? So you can see this hexagon hexagon which has got six sides okay we will draw this hexagon in the beginning and now you can see that the hexagon is there which is right at the center of the rangoli okay now after this what we will do is like we are going to draw the squares which are there on every side of the hexagon can you see on every side of the hexagon there there are squares can you give me a thumbs up if all of you can see that Yes, I could see students giving me a thumbs up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw two, two squares on each side of the hexagon. Yes, can you see? I want all of you to draw with me. And now you can see that this shape is getting repeated again and again. Yes, that means it's a pattern. Now, can you see this triangle which are which is there in between these two squares? So now what we are going to do is like we're going to draw triangle right in between these two squares and see. So we can see that the triangle pattern is now getting repeated again and again. So this is what we call patterns. And now once we have drawn this triangle again, this hexagon gets repeated. So students, can you count the number of green hexagons which are there? and share in the chat box how many hexagons are there, green hexagons, how many are there? Just share in the chat box. Let me see what the students are going to write. Okay, six has, Kiran is writing six, Kushal six. Very good. Okay, that's good. That's so good that you all of you are answering it. Very good. So six hexagons. And now you can see again after the hexagons, the squares are getting repeated again and again. Right? So it's the pattern which is getting repeated again and again. So now we know what is pattern. And students, let me also share with you that patterns, okay, let me, yes. So pattern can also be made up of alphabets and numbers. We, we saw patterns in shapes, right? Now we are going to see patterns in numbers also. But before we see that, I want all of you to do a question. So students, are you ready for a question? We'll solve a question on the pattern, okay? So the first question is, Gita is making a bracelet in a particular pattern as shown below. And if the pattern continues, which of the following is the order of next three beats that Gita should add to her bracelet? So you, this is a poll question. Do not answer in the chat box, students, okay? This is a poll question, and you are not supposed to answer in the chat box. And once, after 30 seconds, after you read this question, make sure that you are noting this figure down, students. I'm going to launch this poll, okay? After 10 seconds, I'm going to launch this poll, and you have to answer the question in the poll. So let me see who gets the correct. You'll be getting one minute to solve this question. So the time for you to solve this question starts now. So you can see the poll question, which is there, which is there on the screen. Yes. Let me see how many of you get it correct. Another 40 seconds to go, children. 
Very good. I can see all of you are busy just quickly, quickly finding the solution. It's interesting to see students quickly, quickly answering. Got another 10, 15 seconds left, students. I think most of you have answered. That's so good to see. Yes, I could see even students sharing in the chat box sir, that we have answered. Very good. Yes. I think, Jaren, sir, they all have answered. I'm sharing the results with you to share with the students. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So now I could see that 55% of you are saying that order one is the correct. Uh, whereas still there are 30% of the students who are saying that order three is the correct. Now let's see which one is correct. Okay. So what we are going to do here is we are going to draw this pattern. So to draw this pattern, students see first it's the rectangle, then it's the circle, and then the again the rectangle is getting repeated, but in a horizontal way. Okay. So see, this is the circle. Now after circle, what is coming? After circle, it is which one it is coming? It's the horizontal rectangle. So we will first draw the horizontal rectangle. Okay, let me draw the horizontal rectangle for you. So now you can see that the horizontal rectangle is here. After the horizontal rectangle, what is there? It is the circle which is coming. So we will draw the circle. After the circle, what it is coming? It is the, yes. It is the rectangle one, which is in the vertical direction. Yes. So what is the answer here? The answer would be the first one. Have you got it? Yes. I think most of the students have understood this. I can see now students nodding their heads. Yes. Very good, sir. Great. Uh, so we have now solved this question. Okay. Now what we are going to do here is we are going to see what are different patterns. So I have a question to you students. You can answer it in the chat box. I'll open up the chat box for all of you. So this is this a pattern or not? What do you think? Is it a pattern? You can answer in the chat box. Yes or no. Yes, I could see students saying yes, it is a pattern. Very good. Okay. So the first image which I have on the screen is a pattern, right? Okay. Now, what about the second image which is going to come on the screen? Is this a pattern? The second image, is this a pattern? Yes, I could see students answering yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So students see, understand that this is also a pattern because see the same type of leaf, the same shape of leaf, it's getting repeated again and again, right? So even in nature, there are patterns, right? Now, what about the third one? The third image which is going to come. Uh, I could see students all very eager to know what is the third image. Yes. Now, do you think is the third image a pattern? Let me see students answering. Yes, yes, students are saying yes, it's yes, yes. Okay, no, no. So see students here also, again, the same design is getting repeated again and again. Right? The same design it's getting repeated. So there is a pattern which is getting repeated again and again. Okay. So the patterns in which there is no gap. Okay. And there is no overlap. For example, what do I mean by gap here is like, so this pattern is getting repeated again and again. So there is no gap. But see in this, there are gaps here, right? There are few gaps which are coming here. The gaps which is coming here. See this design also, again, there are gaps, right? This is not completely filled, right? And what I mean by overlapping is like, for example, if this is one and then there is another design, which is like this. So here we can say that it's actually overlapping. See, this design will get overlap. So when there is no gap, or when there is no overlapping, we call it as tessellation. This is very important students to understand what is a tessellation. A tessellation is created when tiles are repeated over and over again, covering a surface 
without any gaps or overlaps so is this a tessellation yes it is a tessellation why because there is no gap no overlapping is this a tessellation no because there are gaps okay what about this is this a tessellation is this a tessellation no it's not a tessellation because we could see that there are gaps okay so now we know what is tessellation so all of you have you written the definition of this please write the definition of tessellation it's very important students okay i could see students uh, if you have written this can you give me a thumbs up very good santosh i could see you giving me a thumbs up that's interesting okay now let's do a question okay now the question for you is again it's a poll question students you don't have to answer in the chat box the chat box is closed for you now yes and aman wants to tessellate the floor of his house which tile should he choose so students remember the definition of tessellation and solve this question you will be getting 40 seconds to answer this let me see the answer for this the poll is going to be on live now yes i could see students all ready to answer this let me see which one would be the answer that most of you are choosing you have another 30 seconds to go i can see most of you have have already shared the answers and just saying good very good they're all very good students i can see that they're already sitting very alert yeah and even i could see students you know they have answered it and they're saying sir what's the answer what's the answer they're all eager to know if their answer is correct or not as always so i'm sharing the results with you yeah please uh, now let's see the results okay it's so quite a mixed response here amrita mm. now to make sure that the students have understood this let's draw this okay so i am going to draw this tile one so if i am going to repeat this tile students okay so i'm i'm i'll try to make yes so now can you see when i am drawing this tile again and again okay there will be no this is there is no overlapping okay there will be no overlapping but there is space right there is gap so this means that tile one tessellation will not be there what about tile two now let me draw for tile two now see again when i am drawing this tile to also okay again i can see that there is going to be gap yes there is going to be space which means that again tile to tessellation won't be there what about tile 3 now let me draw for tile 3 okay so i'm going to draw for tile 3 now now see you can see in tile 3 there is no space no gap okay there is no overlapping also which means tile 3 will get the answer as he tile 3 so have you got the students now let me see if the students have got this yes now i could see jaden nodding his head very good jaden i could see akansha i could see kanishka giving me a thumbs up that's good that's super good chavi also giving me a thumbs up kunal also giving me a thumbs up very good student that's interesting to know that you have understood this now let's go back and see what yash and ananya are doing oh it seems they have met their friends and they are going to play a game i'll share the game board they are going to play with you are you all excited to play the game with all of them Yes okay very good that's interesting that all of you have already given me a thumbs up so it seems that they are like 20 of them in total so you can see all of them standing in a circle okay so now students what you need to note here is like the first person is going to start from start counting from 1 the second person is going to shout out 2 the third person instead of saying the number what he is going to say he is going to say gilligan okay 
So now it continues. Okay, fourth person is going to shout out the number four. The fifth person is going to shout out the number five. But the sixth person is shouting out what? Gilly gilly. So can you see there is a pattern which is happening? That is, after every two number, it's gilly gilly which is coming. See, after every two number, it's gilly gilly which is coming. So now the question to you is, my students. Can you say at all which positions, at which all positions will students say gilly gilly? So you have to tell me the numbers which the students will say gilly gilly. I'm opening the chat box for you. Let me see some answers at all, which all positions are students going to say gilly gilly. Let me see how many of you answer it. Okay, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, yes. 3, 6, Shivan is going to say 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Very good. Very good. Yes. Very good. So, so you, now you have understood that after every two number, there is a gilly gilly which is coming, right? So after every two number, there is a gilly gilly which comes and this follows. On. So can you see numbers? Can you see patterns in numbers also? So through Rangoli, we saw patterns in shapes. And through this game, now we have seen that there are patterns in numbers also. Am I right? So have you all understood this? Yes? Okay. Now what we will do here is like, we will solve a question. So I'm going to solve a question for all of you. So this is a question that Ananya writes five numbers on the blackboard as shown in the figure. Okay, as shown here. Now, what are the four numbers that Ananya has written or the five numbers? 43. 39, 35, 31, and 27. Now the question here is, which of the following best describes Ananya's number pattern? So these are the four options. All of you read the four options and then we will solve this out. Okay, how do we solve it out is like, so we have to see the numbers. Okay, first we will see the numbers. And when we see the numbers, we are seeing that it's getting decreasing, right? It's getting decreased. Now we will try to see if there is any pattern in these. So when I subtract 43 from 39, or 43 and 39, I'll get 4 as the answer, right? Now when again I subtract 39 and 35, I'll get 4 as the answer. Now again, when I subtract 35 and 31, I'll get 4 as the answer. When I subtract 31 and 27, I'll get 4 as the answer, which means every time I subtract 4 from the previous number, 4 from the previous number, I'm getting a pattern. So, which means the correct option here is which one? Option 4. What is option 4? The option 4 is like subtract 4. I'm not doubling. Doubling is like 2 into 2 or 3 into 3. I'm not doubling that. I'm not adding three, I'm not dividing, I'm subtracting. So that means the fourth option is the correct one. Am I right, students? Yes, I could see students have already shared the answers. That's very interesting. Thank you, students. Uh, so are you ready to solve a question now? Yes, all excited to solve a question? So it's going to be a tricky question. Ankita, thank you, smiley. Thank you for smiling, you're so happy. Uh, you're all excited, all geared up to solve a question. Yes, I'm also excited to solve a question. The question is on the screen now. Study the pattern in the following. Okay, you have to study the pattern first. Write down the numbers. Otherwise, you're going to make mistakes. Huh? So you have to write down the numbers, students. And once you do that, you have to pick up the correct option from here. So you have got, I'll give you 30 seconds before I launch the poll. Yes, I could see students telling their parents that I don't need their help. That's good. That's so good. Children uh, have already started solving, Jaren. I can already oh. note that they've done that. That's and interesting. Nodding her head that she's done <laughs> <laughs> that, That's so interesting. But yes, I can see you nodding your head. Uh, yeah. Jaren, I think we'll uh, launch the poll and share the question with the students. Yes, yes. We are going to... I think uh, how many seconds, how many, how much time do you want to give them to solve it? One minute will be good, I think, for the students to solve this. 
So yes, the students have got one minute. Now let me see which is the correct answer that the students are going to pick. The speed with which they answer, Jaren, is extremely impressive. So good to see. Yes. Coming in, it's not even been 20 seconds. And we have almost like 60% of them have already answered. That's so good. Within the first 15 seconds. Brilliant. So, and I'm sure students are going to master the concept of patterns after attending the webinar live class. Yes, without a doubt. Another 15 seconds, if you would like to revise your answer, very important. You should always revise your answers. Um, but I, as Jaren sir just said, very confident you all have it correct. So I am ending the poll and sharing the results with Jaren sir. Let him tell you. Okay, that's interesting to note that 50% of the students have said that option three is correct. Whereas, uh, you know, 40% of the students, almost 40% of the students are saying that option one is correct. Let's see which one is the correct students. So again, as I said, it's very important to note uh, the numbers which are here. Okay. So now see, we'll see, we'll try to find the pattern. Five into five, everyone knows 25 it's written. Okay. Now when I have two five here, so it's, I know that one seven is coming up. Okay. And two and five, it's like, it's already there. Okay. Now let's move to the third number. So I can see there are three numbers here. Okay, three fives here. And now see here in this case, it was two five and one seven came up. In this case, it's three five and now two seven have come up. Two and five, it's already there as there as it was there in the previous case. When it's going to be four fives here, I can see one, one less. Okay, so there are three seven here. Now it's two and five. Now the question, I think now the students have got the pattern. So here we have got how many five? We have got six five, which means how many sevens I will have? I will have seven. I will have five seven. Okay. And I will have one two and I will have one five. So that means this will be, what will be my answer, which is like 27 lakhs. 77,775. So that means my answer is third one, which means 50% of you got it correct. Yes. Have you understood this students? I could see Drishti saying yes, yes, yes. Very good Drishti. And I could see uh, Kanishka also giving me a thumbs up. Yes. yes. Very we good. to give a virtual thumbs up or of course show a thumbs up. Uh, we are looking at all of you lovely students and I can see it while Jaren sir is teaching. All of you are nodding your heads like this, or you're doing this. Thank you so very much. Love the engagement. And uh, Ankita, uh, Jaren sir, I think everybody loves your teaching. That's so interesting to know. I'm sure students will love patterns also. So now see, now since most of you have understood this question, uh, Ananya has a message for all of you students. This is the message that Ananya has. So these are some numbers. Um, what is it that she's trying to say to us through these numbers? Is so let me say something to us. Yeah, yeah. What is uh, Ananya is going to convey a message? Okay, and this is a secret message. Okay. Oh, okay. And the secret message is there, is encrypted there in these numbers. So we are going to decode the message which Ananya has shared. And how are we going to decode? Yeah. Okay. We, how we are going to decode the messages, right? Mm -hmm. So I am going to give you a hint, which Ananya has passed over to me. Mm -hmm. So each number, see each alphabet has got a number. So for example, if it is A, then it's number one. If it is B, it's number two. So similarly, if it is 25 here, which means the letter is going to be U. Okay. So students, what? you have to do is like, you have to find the alphabets corresponding to these numbers and you have to share in the chat box, what is the message that Ananya has given to you? Okay. 
This is so I'll give very you... exciting, Jerinka. I'm also going yeah. to try and solve. That's that's interesting. So let me see how many of you get it correct. I think I've already started receiving messages. Okay, that's so interesting. But I will wait for another twenty seconds so that other students also complete. Okay. Yes, I could so see the, already. Like the students are only complimenting you, but is this the solution to the code? Yes, I could see students are uh, throwing answers at speed of light, and it's the answer is like. you are the best yes you students are the best and that is what ananya is saying sunday morning you have um, you all i have gathered here you are learning about patterns you have learned about patterns quite a lot and ananya is saying you are the best so we know now how do we decode a message yes and what is important here is students that even in letters there are patterns okay so for example see the word best fest jes nes rest west jes there are all patterns here right so if you see the last three letters of each word okay last three letters of each uh, word that i have written here there is a pattern okay okay and that the last three letters are remaining same these are all four letters word and all of them the last three letters are remaining same now if you see b starts from 2 okay so this is a 2 if i look at fest fest f is at position number 6 which means i'm skipping i'm i have a gap of three numbers or i could say i have a skip counting of four here now let me see what is the next word that i've written i've written jess here which means j is at number 10 which means c again i have got a gap of um, i have done a skip counting of four here what about the next word which is like ness again c a gap of four right yes what about res again, again a gap of four so there is a pattern jerin sir and uh, we can correlate like you just taught us that the patterns exist in everything even in alphabets words things around us and especially numbers absolutely okay. so we have seen patterns in shapes we have seen patterns in numbers yes. we have seen patterns in alphabets also in letters also formation yes. Yeah. yes now we will solve a question which involves patterns in alphabets okay and the poll question for you is Mm -hmm. which letter replaces the question mark so here is a question mark okay. and you need to find out of which of these letters will come here what i'm going to do is like i'm going to provide you with a hint also okay so i can i can see you uh, mm -hmm. having a hint here and i'm going to give you 30 so i'll give you 40 seconds to solve this and then i'll uh, launch the poll for you students okay. interesting question i'm sure most of you will get it right solve it okay you have to use the hint so jerin sir they have to use this table that you have shared which is the hint to help solve the question right absolutely very well okay um so we can now i think students have noted down the question maybe after 10 seconds we can just launch the poll okay um, we'll do that so they have to find out which letter which alphabet replaces the question mark in the uh, last uh, thing with okay so i'm launching the poll children students and i think confident we can already see all of you solving so here it is on your screen now as always jerin sir the answer the speed of lightning it's good we have got another 20 seconds and let's see how students are doing it yes interesting the percent have already answered so interesting so we still have 15 seconds left and i'm sure others are also going to answer yeah. kanishka has already given me a thumbs up that's so interesting okay 
Jeevan has given me an answer. So I'll share the results with you, Jaren, sir. Very, very keen to know what the answer is. Okay. Uh, let me see the answer which the students have given here. Okay, the students are saying that, oh, quite a mixed response here. Very good. Which means, yeah, which means like we will see if this question has been uh, understood clearly or not. So again, as I said, we need to find the pattern. We need to identify the pattern first. So if we see the first pattern, which is there, which is like at C, so we see that C's number is what? Three. So we will write three here. Okay. Now, if I see the position of K, K is at 11, right? Now, if I subtract 11 from three, I'll get what? I'll get eight. Okay. Now, what I see is like at I, I is at position number nine, which means I need to add one to eight so that I get nine and position of I will be nine, right? Now, let's see if this same pattern is followed here also. For example, M. M is at which position? M is at 13th position. So, we'll write 13 here. Which position at V? V is at 22nd position, which means if I subtract 22 minus 13, I'll be getting how much? I'll be getting 22 minus 13. I'll be getting 11. Am I right? Yes, so I'll be getting 11. Now, if I add, uh, just one second. Okay, so now if I add one to it, just, just one second, students. I think there's some mistake here. It should be actually K here. It should be actually M here. There's some mistake which is happening. So we'll see if this pattern is there in H and S also. So H is at like eight and S is at like 19. Now, if I subtract 19 minus eight, what is the answer going to be? The answer is going to be, again, the answer is going to be what? I, it's going to be 11, okay? Now C for 11, so I need to add one here. C12. Okay. So that means now when I do this, what will I get? O is at which position? O is at 15. And T is at which position? T is at 20. So 20 minus 15 is 5. So 5 plus 1 I'll have to do, which means the answer is going to be 6. So which is like F. So the correct answer would be option B. So I think most of you have got it now. Can I get a thumbs up if you have all got it? Yes, I could see Absolutely. students getting. Yes, and uh, they were listening so concentratedly. Thank you, Jerry. This was very interesting. I also learned a lot today. Good, that's so good to know that. And so now, students and parents, are you excited? Remember, at the beginning of the webinar, we shared with you that we will be having a little challenge coming up for you. Yes, I did request all of you to keep those paper and pens handy, of course, to answer all the questions that Jaren sir is asking you and to take up the fastest finger challenge. So students, my colleague, Mr. Sarjan, will be sharing a link in the chat box soon. Our parents request you to please stay put, please be part of the webinar with the children, with the students, help them fill up the required details. Yes, we will be needing some basic details to ensure that we can collate the data correctly. Um, please read the question carefully, very important. Answer carefully, but please answer within 60 seconds. Please note the most important rule of this challenge. The fastest finger will win. So the first three correct entries will be our winners. And how can you be the first three correct entries? A, you of course answer correctly. Secondly, you are the quickest, the fastest. So are we ready? Uh, yes, Jerry, I, can I request you to please share the challenge question with us? Yes, sure, the students, are you ready? Yes, great, you're giving me a thumbs up. The question here is, 
you have to study the pattern again okay and you have to find out which is the correct answer here going to be okay students i'll give you uh, 30 seconds before i share the link in the chat box read it please make sure that you read the question note the numbers very carefully this is very and the chat in the chat box the link is going to be shared now please do not answer in the chat box students please answer with the link so the link is going to be shared once again yes now the link is here yes parents please fill up the details correctly students answer correctly and quickly you um, have 2 no. minutes to complete this activity students yes. we will share the results at the end of the webinar our team will be collating the data i hope all of you have received the link they will all answer correctly yes i'm yes, sure they're going to all answer who answers the quickest yes that's the game all about who answers yes. the quickest and the correct yes We Please have got carefully. Sixty seconds left, students. I think most of you have already answered it. Yes. If you have already answered it, can you just give me a thumbs up? Yes, I think the students are answering it. Yes, Prati has already answered it. Okay, very good, students. Kanishka, Jeevan, thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. our team will collate the data yes i could see students have already answered it very good lot of thumbs up coming hyansh sanskriti that's good now i think uh, we have just the last 10 second students 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 4 3 2 1 so now the time is up thank you so much thank you for your active participation students and parents the winners will be announced at the end of the webinar our team will be collating the results and we are very excited please stay tuned in so jaren sir at the end of the webinar we will share the winners with them sure so parents and students uh, just now like when jaren sir was teaching we looked at the questions and also the responses that were shared on the during the poll these poll results that we witnessed are after teaching immediately like jaren sir taught us this phenomena is very common it is something which happens in a normal classroom the teacher teaches and the student answers jaren sir can you please explain the reason why when even during such a live teaching and an immediate response there can be learning gaps with the students so learning gap they just not occur because the teacher did teach well or the student was not attentive the learning gap need not be for the concept which is taught right and it okay. could be for any concept which actually supports the understanding of the concept that is taught okay and it can come from any grade from okay. grade 1 to grade 10 any grade these misconceptions can come up and if these misconceptions are not remediated or the learning gaps are not remediated this will go on increasing because the concepts gets tougher and tougher oh very true sir so uh, i what i'm understanding is that like for an example if i may say so uh, if i'm not able to understand the questions on patterns like you just shared with us uh, then the one of the possibilities is that there is a misconception that could be in the basics of patterns something which is taught in the younger grades am i correct absolutely correct and this is what research is also talking about and now when the learning is all happening at online if proper measures are not taken then the learning gap could be as high as 50% Jaren sir, that seems to be very high, and uh, it sounds very, very dangerous. In fact, it is worrisome. So, what do you suggest is the solution? Should a parent take the child for 
enroll them in tuitions or extra classes, especially during these unprecedented times? What do you suggest? So the answer to this is impactful teaching with daily practice. And daily practice, when I say it's not just any practice, it's okay. eye practice. Uh -huh. And to eye practice, I mean practicing intelligently. Now, what is practicing intelligently is like, it should not be repetitive in nature. Okay. It should be interleaved. And I'm going to show this through the minds part to my dear students. So what I'm so going to if, do here. Uh, that sounds the correct way to do it. Correct, Jaren, sir. So parents, do you agree that no learning is complete without practice? After all, practice makes learning permanent. So what I'm going to do is like, this is the URL of my spark. I'm going to share this URL with everyone. So this is the, um, so every child is going to get a username and a password. So I'm going to plug in my username and password and okay. I'm going to log in to my MindSpark account. And you could see that we learned about patterns. So we are going to do questions from the patterns. So the questions from the patterns are here. So students, you can answer it in the chat box. And now I'll also, I'll try to answer here. So what is the question here is, okay, let me try to solve. So Amrita, what do you think could be the answer here? Jaren, sir, I think B. Yes, okay. So let me answer it B and see how MindSpark is actually helping me with the explanation part. Let me do another question. So I do, I have a question here. Okay. Now I'll do this question, uh, let me see if I pick up this option. So I get this. Answer. So see how MindSpark is actually explaining the answer to this question. And this is very important for the child to read the explanation and then move forward. Now, let me pick up a wrong answer. Okay. okay let me pick up a wrong answer and see what is the answer going to be. Now, let me see if this is the wrong answer here. Mm -hmm. See, MindSpark still gives me an explanation. So Jaren, sir, whether right or wrong, MindSpark will ensure that my concepts are embedded and will always, always give me an explanation. Is that correct? Absolutely correct. And this is what happens. And this is very important for the child to build on. And that's how the concept clarity will be uh, enhanced. The learning gaps will be remediated. So will MindSpark also reward me for getting so many questions correct? Yes. So every three questions you answer it correct, there, there's a reward system, which we call it as like sparkies. And these are basically to motivate the students to do maths, learn maths without any fear, which is very important. I agree with you. So Jaren, sir, like you've just shared with us that MindSpark is so very impactful, so very useful for students. How can the teachers utilize this to ensure that these students are learning well? So MindSpark, I'll show you right now what I showed to you is like, how do students use MindSpark? Now I'm going to show you like how I as a teacher use MindSpark in my uh, teaching method, uh, teaching so that I improve whatever is required for the students to learn much better. So I also have a username. So okay. I'll plug into the username. I'll plug in the username okay. and then... I'll select the class. So for example, my class is 4A. So I, I'm going to select the class and I'm going to show to the students and the parents here, like how do I as a teacher mm -hmm. take a note, like how my students are doing MindSpark, how they are doing. So we learned about tessellation today, right? I'm going to show this to the parents and students here. So these are the names of the students of my class. And I could see each of them have done questions. Okay. Now, if I see the trail here, uh -huh. I could see what are the questions done by Vidhi. How many of them are correct? So see how different type of questions, challenge questions, different type of questions are there in MindSpark and how MindSpark is actually helping the students. And this so is, I understand correctly, Jaren, sir, that not only the students use MindSpark, as a teacher, you yourself are also using it to make your teaching better and also to understand where the students are, how much they've understood, uh, where their misconceptions lie and how you can make the teaching better for them. 
absolutely and this is what mind spark helps in teachers very well so this is very very interesting uh but jerin sir parents these days have so many options available you know if you go it is extremely confusing there are tuition classes free online videos and the list is endless can you share some points which will help a parent decide what is best for their child so let me share with the parents that videos worksheets they are all <coughs> passive way of learning and there is when there is no when when it's a passive way of learning there is no communication between the teachers and the students and now if i talk about tuitions you know they are one to many and the focus is just to complete the syllabus there is no parental interaction and parents just don't need reports they rather need actionables so that they can plug in the gaps which are there and this can actually if that is done then the learning of the child will actually improve you know jerin sir uh, this means that even though the students are attending these classes there is no interaction and there is no way of knowing that they're learning how much and how far is it impacting them and i think from what you've just shared i learning with practicing on mind spark is something that will cement it am i correct absolutely very well so parents we conduct mind spark live class in which the batch size is very small the teacher teaches the concept and then there is mind spark which is personalized for every child so we ensure that there is personal attention we use artificial intelligence and machine learning in mind spark which actually enables teaching and learning so in a nutshell the entire teaching process is customized for a child there is instant remediation clearance of doubts and we follow a scheduled timetable there are weekly reports and monthly interaction and all of this is available at a fraction of a cost but jerin sir as a parent i would like to know how can you be so confident so sure about the students learning through mind spark live classes so parents and students let me share what the world is talking about mind spark so mind spark is the only edtech platform which has been reviewed <coughs> and recognized and awarded by the economist twice and in a study conducted by mit mind spark is a program that is proven to deliver better learning Harvard Business School they actually published a case study on Mind Spark which talks about improving educational learning outcomes in India and on top of everything we have been just selected by UNESCO as a finalist for the use of artificial intelligence to innovate education teaching and learn that is very very impressive jaren sir some of the world's best recognize us that is extremely commendable so that means parents um mind spark live usage plus usage of mind spark will ensure 100 percent learning we are very confident about it so let me share with you <coughs> excuse me how to best utilize the live class feature of mind spark uh here we have with us grades third and fourth the entire mathematics syllabi is covered and we cover this within 16 weeks there is a particular schedule we follow like on monday wednesday and friday we have our instructors teaching live for an hour and on all these days and other days the students practice for 40 minutes a day on mind spark this we firmly believe will create a lot of impact we have a highly qualified teachers with more than 10 years of teaching experience weekly and monthly tests uh we weekly communicate with the parents and uh, the progress reports are discussed don't worry it could happen you maybe miss a class the recorded sessions are available for your pursuit and we use zoom and mind spark platform and uh, of course devices are needed laptops or a smartphone and definitely definitely a very reliable internet connection so let me share what students get from mind spark live classes artificial intelligence and machine learning supported personalized teaching to ensure the conceptual understanding unlimited practice questions games worksheets and tests that helps ensure that their learning is permanent better preparation better result and of course the most important no fear of mathematics 
for parents too, MindSpark has a lot to offer, like reports are shared with them, which highlight their students' progress in each topic and concept. The learning gaps are also discussed and actionables for improvements are provided. There are detailed weekly and monthly reports. Parents, we feel you get the best of both the worlds, human and technology, which will ensure improvement in results and will create a self-regulated learner. Now coming to the pricing of MindSpark. MindSpark Live Classes include 16 weeks of live classes plus 40 weeks, which make up for a whole year's learning especially with maths practice, is there only at a cost of rupees 8,499. That is just about 944 rupees per month. We have a special offer for all of you who have joined us today uh, for this webinar, a 10% discount, which will make the effective cost as just rupees 7,499 for the complete year. And for a month, it is just 833 rupees. You can please feel free, go to our website. There are flexible payment options available. And of course, our team will be getting in touch with you. Meanwhile, if you have any queries, any doubts, any thoughts, please feel free to share with us on the chat box. And yes, we have international students. Remember at the beginning of the webinar we shared with you, we are present in 19 countries. So for all our international students, there is a special prize of, for you at 125 US dollars for a year. Uh, please register, please log into www.mindspark.in. We look forward to any questions or any queries that you may have. Please feel free to put it in the chat box. And uh, I can see you children, very excited, all of you. I know you're all waiting for the results of fastest finger first and that I will request Jaren sir to share it with us. Jaren sir, can you please share the result? Can you please share who are the lucky three winners? Sure, I'll share that. And uh, so the question is already with the students and they know the correct answer. The backend team has collated the data. Okay, so the backend team is already with the data. Uh, Sajan is going to share the screen with all of us and we are going to announce the lucky winners the students with the correct and the fastest time. So, yes, we are here. So, Sombrit Metra um, is the one who is at the third position. So, Sombrit, can we see you? Can you just raise your hand? Let us give a big clap for him, students, and Sombrit. So can we see Sombrit? If you can just give us a hi, Sombrit, if you are there. Somrit, can we see you? Can you give a thumbs up so that we can find you? Let me check if I'm able to find Somrit. Yes, uh, I am. I have found Somrit. Somrit, I'm unmuting you. Can you just say a hi to all of us? You can just click on unmute and then probably speak. Yes, Somrit. It is Somrit Metra. Yes. Uh, Somrit, hi. Somrit. I think there's some internet connection issue from Sombrit. Which grade are you in? You're in grade four. Heartiest congratulations. Our team will be getting in touch with you and uh, very glad that you are our winner for today. Now let's go to the second position. Second position at second position. We have Vidita Garg. Vidita, are you there with us? Let I me... Uh, let me check if we have got... Yes, let us find Vidita. Vidita, could you raise your hand or give us a thumbs up so that we can... So I'm not thank... able to see Vidita's name here. Uh, so maybe... Vidita, can you rename yourself if you are with your parents' ID or I someone? I can see a Rajat uh, Garg. I hope uh, that is not the parent's name. Okay. So maybe we'll, our team will get in touch with you, Vedita. Let, let us go to the first position. And yes. The first position, it's Kushal. Kushal, are you there? Kushal Kush Raja. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can get Kushal. Yes, Kushal, you are there. Thank I could you see you. Kushal, yes. Kushal, can you unmute yourself and say a hi to all of us? 
can we see you also please kushal kushal uh, i've just unmuted you kushal congratulations kushal we are so happy that you are the winner of mind spark fastest finger challenge uh, our team will be getting in touch with you shortly kushal thank you congratulations to the winners you all did very very well jerin sir i think this is a big round of applause for them okay i think we have rajat's parent uh, yes rajat rajat uh, yeah, hi hi so congratulations oh thank you so can we see your daughter please sir yeah ready congratulations hi. thank Hello. you which grade are you in third third oh. very Sinful. well done very okay. well congratulations. done congratulations congratulations and kushal can we hear from you also kushal um, i think okay kushal yes can you unmute yourself bachche hi yes, hi hi kushal can we see you Congratulations, Kushal. Kushal, you're in which class? Fourth. Fourth. Okay, very good. Congratulations to you. Our team will be getting in touch with you shortly. So, parents, if there are any questions or answer questions, please do share it in the chat box. We will be happy to take up the questions. Thank you for joining us. Our team will definitely get in touch with you, and if you have any queries, you can also share with them. We'll be happy to address. alternatively you can write to this email id harit@ai-india.com and we'll be definitely getting in touch with you thank you parents and students for joining us we wish you all a happy sunday and see you all on next sunday thank you so very much i hope you all are now going to practice and happy mind sparking our team will be getting in touch with you any queries any questions please feel free to post it in the chat and we can take it up for you thank you everyone for joining us have a happy sunday thank you students you have been absolutely brilliant we look forward to engaging with you very soon kanishka says thank you for teaching our pleasure kanishka you are all such wonderful students we absolutely enjoy bringing this to you every sunday sanskriti thank you so much as we just shared with you you are all so good you answer in a jiffy you understand everything and you just take i mean we think you will take a little more time but you finish answering so quickly lovely you all are absolutely brilliant students thank you so very much for joining us today i'm getting messages from somrit you all are best thank you for your teaching piyansh